is a catchweight contest consisting of six five minute rounds. One fall, one submission, or a knockout to decide the winner. Between on my left and in the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen from Highbury, Jackie Hello Junior. His opponent on my right and in the red corner from Lewisham, Dick Conlon. So another catchweight contest for our final bout here this afternoon. Dick Conlon at uh, Levenstone 11 in the upper bracket, upper uh, limit, well on the upper limit of the welterweight bracket, and Jackie Palo Jr. of Highbury with the striped trunks, of course, at 10 stone 6, right in the middle of the lightweight bracket. First round. One fall will decide this six-round contest. And I don't think there's any identification problems here. But the gold boots and striped trunks and the hairstyle of Jackie Paolo Jr., known as JJ, I don't think will have any identification problems. Yeah. Notice that Dick Conlon has made a uh, tash of his even more Mexican style since his last appearance on television. time you see this boy improves. Because he's had a great teacher. His father started him off in this game at seven years old. But quite seriously. It's an amateur wrestler. Rightly staying in with the strength holds of the semi jab strangle hold, getting in close and stopping Palo uses skill at distance. As the counter is the same. Stone and five pounds weight advantage here in this catchweight bout. It's a heck of an advantage. Advantage of height as well as the weight. Obviously, strength along with it. Jackie Jr. has, of course, got a lot of extra speed on his side if he can get loose to employ it. Yeah. He's staying on his knees, and that's why he's still on his knees, so Conlon couldn't do that. But Legally, anyway. Look on these wrestlers, rule benders' faces as they get uh, told off by the ref. Terrific, pure innocence. Couldn't understand why the ref stopped him. Paul Nelson now can't. If he keeps this up, Palo's going to be in trouble. All he's going to do is stay in close, use the strength holds. It's only one fall. No, no. It's awfully nearly no. yet then. No, no, no. One, two, 
One minute to go in round one, and Paolo coming back again with a counter with that back hammer. Still on underneath there. Still got half a minute, Conlan, or a little less. There's a double backhammer on there. One hell with Palo's legs and one with the right arm. I'm locked now to Palo. Ten seconds. Okay. <laughs> Take Jackie Paolo Jr. There he is. Uh, Paolo fans will be interested to know, and in some of the small towns in this country that uh, both his father and himself will be appearing there quite a lot in the future because so many people have asked him to appear at their own local halls and Jackie both Jackies are going to do this in the future. I don't think we're going to see him quite so much on television, either of them, from now on for a bit. Which, of course, is very good. <coughs> Effort on Palo's half, but we'll miss him on the small screen. Jackie Jr. at 10-6. Take us away round two. Round two, Palo in the straight trunks. Gold boots. A lot of hairstyle. And of course, the usual Palo tradition of the black ribbon, supposed to be tying his hair back, but <laughs> not doing so well at the moment. Conlon still coming in with the strength of this. Of course, he's got to do it. Palo's had no chance of even attempted to drop kick yet. And the ribbon is finally off. Max Ward picks it up, shoves it in his pocket. He's got a nice arm lever attempt, but I don't think it's going to work for him because Conlon, the stronger and the heavier, gets there first. But Palo still has a counter with the backhand right now, very near the rocks. Too near the rocks. <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> cross buttock with a held cross buttock into a side headlock ground position. <laughs> With a single finger into lock, they're doing extremely well to have stayed this long with this much bigger man. Considering it's close in. <laughs> Just waiting for his chance to try the speed moves. Still have a chance of standing in a good. Oh, that bridge went very far over. Dick Conlon, an underrated wrestler. I don't know why we don't see more of him. I'd rather see him against somebody of his own way. Nice work. Before he got up, really, or just as he got up. Maybe he turned it around. His body checks. Well Still a couple of minutes to go, and Palo is in trouble at the moment. Oh. <laughs> 
Forced him to let go anyway. Nice bar. Nice throw, but too near the ropes. First distance move that Jackie Pollock Jr. has been able to execute for it. But from the distance. Well, a minute left in round two, and it's all Conlon at the moment. Sammy Jack's trying to hold again. Ah, uh, Palo switched. Oh, he missed it. Mistimed it. Tried to switch the posting, gets another body check for his pains, and not too good a landing outside there, but he's okay. He'll be back. No time at Agile boy, this fellow, Jackie Jr. Less than half a minute now. Fernando <laughs> says that's enough of that for the moment. No Just eight seconds now in this second round. <laughs> Well, a couple of flying headbutts and that, that last one coming just before the bell, ending round two. And Colin, I'm sure if he was still about, the round was still on, he wouldn't be lying there, but he's just taking a, a bit of a breather. Not really troubled for too long by it. Dick Conlon of Lewis, a little 11 stone 11, and he should really be sewing this boat up by now over this extra weight of his. He's a sports coach, this fella, Rose Cottage, Woolwich, three years in the Merchant Navy before that. Round three, four rounds to go. Paolo Jr. versus Dick Conlon. And again, it's Conlon coming to the attack right from the back. Paolo proclaiming that that uh, hair has been caught in the hold. I don't think intentionally. But whether it's intentional or not, Conlon doesn't intend to. Let go. Nicely reached, Paolo, but he's still in a double knee hole danger, but the ropes are too near for him to worry. That's a good one. Finally, a distance move that comes off a nice up there for the yeah, Finally, the butt. Finally, the uh, beautiful drop kick there. Landed a bit, a tiny bit low for him. He can do better than that if he gets a wee bit higher. But that's what we've been waiting for Paolo to do. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> using his strength back unfairly, and it was the use of the hair that was Colin out of trouble there. But that body check was good. Not 
that one man. Now that was a good one. The right foot got him right in the mouth. <laughs> side punch inside there. She left in spot, holding press. <laughs> nice and spunning. Just in time. <laughs> Over the top for a double leg, Nelson. Oh! oh. One, I really felt that one, didn't you? One, two, three, four, five, six. Conlon showing some pretty good wrestling skills here this afternoon. But also a bit of raw battle. Still no public warnings delivered. <laughs> Two or three times, a very definite reprimands from the ref. And there, a little retaliate, retaliation from uh, Paolo. Punch in the small of the back. Uh, Paolo's released now, he can't continue until his man gets up. One minute to go again, the hair pull by Conlon brought him down. You might reason that a wrestler shouldn't wear that length of hair if he doesn't want that to happen, I suppose that figures, but... Don't always come up against the rule banners. Don't know why Conlon needs to resort to it. 30 seconds, round three. Good follow up for Arm Smash. He got the second one a little bit better. No, Palo won't fall for that. <laughs> On the bell. On the floor, you see? That's a foul. Well, Paolo said he didn't fall for that one. This uh, boy, who, of course, is part of the tag team, the famous Paolo tag team, I haven't seen them on television for a bit together. He turned pro at the age of 18, that was in June 71. Trained, of course, by his father and started, believe it or not, at the age of seven, really seriously. He was, he was a dresser for Brian Ricks, this fellow, for a year. So he's uh, also worked on stage with Ronnie Hilton and Bob Monkhouse and Dickie Henderson in his time. So quite an experience. Seconds away round four. <coughs> round four and three rounds to go. No score because one fall decides Dick Conlon versus Jackie Paolo Jr. <laughs> It's Paolo Jr. coming back quite a bit now. Jr. in the stripe truck, so that the third one is landed. That was the second good one, but the third one. Just getting a little tired of having his hair pulled. Told to get back to his corner, yeah. Max Ward telling him to get back to his corner is to deliver a public warning. Ladies and gentlemen, in round four, the referee has given his first public warning to Dick Conlon. Of course, the referee did exactly what should be done, sending him back to his corner to deliver the warning. Continuing with this trap strangle hold, but the switch didn't come, but a second chance had it over the top for a folding dress, very near the ropes, the rope almost touching the ropes. And Conlon, Conlon thought his feet were through. Complaining now, Paolo happy, but Conlon still complained to the ref that his feet were through the ropes when that occurred. All right. Ladies well, and gentlemen, Jack. in round four, the one fall required for victory to Jackie Paolo Jr.
Ladies and gentlemen, a hand please for Lewisham's Dick Conlon. And with a win for Jackie Parlow in round four over Dick Conlon, it's time to say goodbye from all of us at Gravesend. Have a good week. Till next week.